Hey guys, what's up? So in the last video, we looked at how we can loop over lists and things like that. But what, what if we wanted to just loop over a certain amount of the elements inside of a list? And, and before we saw that, well, if we have some sort of matching condition, we can break out of a list and all that stuff. But what if we had 10 items in a list and we only wanted to iterate through the, the first five? The best way to do that is to use something called the range operator in Python. And you actually see this quite a bit as well. So we're going to say my list, and this is just going to be a bunch of numbers, equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, so we have 10 items in this list. They're all numbers. And we're going to say 4x. And once again, this could be your temporary variable. It can be any name you want. It can be called your mom. It could be anything. And we could say range. And then we're going to say 1 through 5. Now, the interesting thing I want to point out, though, is that 1, it actually starts at the first element. So it'll print the first element. But when you say 5, it actually stops at the 5 and it doesn't show the 5 so it's only going to go to 4 so this is something that I just want to show you guys because it is kind of confusing I think so if we were to say print x we're actually going to get 1 through 4 so if we wanted to get the fifth one we actually need to say you know what stop at 6 because it's not going to print 6 it's going to print the one before 6 which is weird because when you say 1 it doesn't start at 2 it actually starts at the first element but this is a relatively short video, but I did want to explain the range function in Python because you do see this quite a bit. One other thing I wanted to mention is that in older versions of Python before Python 3, uh, the, the range was actually called X range. So if you ever see X range, it's actually the same thing as range, but Python 3 changed its name over to just, just simply range, not X range. I'm not sure. The, the reasoning behind that, but that will throw you through a loop as well if you're looking at any sort of older Python code in GitHub. All right, guys, so that is the range operator in Python, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please share this with your family or not. Take care, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this, in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.